solutional caves, which is the bulk of real caves. The caves that are formed by water dissolving limestone and creating very complex cave systems. Here you can be 100 meters from one piece of cave to another, and the characteristic, the geology, the color, the structure, the shape will vary beyond recognition. Once upon a time, the rock they're made in was a seabed. So the seabed was made by particles falling in that ocean, including dead creatures. Shells and the bones of the creatures that are fossilized in the rock are stronger than the surrounding rock. So you can end up with fossilized plant leaves, shells, bones sticking out of the rock. I've seen uh, saber-toothed tiger teeth sticking out of the ceiling of a cave passage. You're know, like, whoa, that's just amazing. If you had a time machine, you could dive in a cave, swim through 100 meters of passage today, and memorize all of it. You get in a time machine and go 3,000 years into the future and dive exactly the same piece of passage it would be different. Because you're actually diving in something that is alive. The acidic nature of rainwater is continually dissolving that rock, changing its structure. The flow of the water is eroding that rock, changing the structure. So it's growing, it's forming, it's changing as you're swimming through it. So you're not only exploring, you're actually exploring something that's alive and changing, like a, a tree would be bigger if you came back 10 years time. The cave will be different if you came back a thousand years time. So it's a living entity, it's a geologically living being, it's live geology, you're actually seeing something being born.